टाइम मैनेजमेंट एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल स्किल्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी हैव टू ऑर्गेनाइज आर सेल्स मेंटली एंड ऑल्सो फिजिकल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन मेंटल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू हैव टू थिंक क्लियरली रिमूव द क्लटर सी ऑल द थिंग्स दैट यू हैव टू डू एंड यू हैव टू एसेस हाउ फार यू कैन गो वट एवर यू हैव टू डू इन ए पर्टिकुलर डे फिजिकल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू शूड बी फिजिकली ऑर्गेनाइज विच मीन्स इफ यू आर सिटिंग ऑन अ डेस्क इट शुड बी विदाउट एनी क्लियर योर यू शुड हैव ऑल द टूल्स दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर योर वर्क एट्सेट्रा नेक्स्ट वी कम टू प्रायोरटाइजिंग Prioritizing you can do only if you look at the following things. Number one, timeline. That is, how much time each task will take. Number two, how crucial to others in the organization. How this task that you are doing is critical to others in the organization. Number three, what could happen if this task is not done? this is also very important it should be written down next we come to goal setting goal setting can also be goals for the day for the week for the month and for the year but here time management goals for the day is very important communications and collaboration it is necessary that in an organization you are depending Uh, on one another for particular job conducive to collaborate with others so that is very helpful and communication skills should be exceptional then task management there should be some system to ensure that task which you start is completed workload management if you think you have more work than you can do then it is better to distribute to delegate and delegation is also very important importance of time management and organizational skills importance of time management and organization skills what does it do for you improve efficiency helps saving time greater reliability less stress it ensures better work quality and it leaves a good impression impression on others and you also improve in your self esteem now tips to improve these skills number 1 prioritize your tasks number 2 stephen covey's four quadrants and there is also abc method which <coughs> a means must do b means should do and c nice to do next we come to getting things done what can i do and where i am how much time i have how much energy i have and focus i have these also you have to assess what is the payoff if i do what is the result then you should follow the schedule you should have long term and short term goals goals which i have talked about but long term goals are also very necessary then for time management you can also use the best tools available online calendars project management tools time management tools and set a time limit for everything i hope you like it please press the button like and subscribe to my channel